Hello everyone, Keyboard Alchemist here and welcome back to another Stable Diffusion tutorial. In my last video, I was experiencing a tremendous slowdown when generating images with SDXL 1.0. Generating a 1024 by 1024 image took as much as 7.5 minutes and it was painful. But after scouring the internet for the last few days, I found a solution to my problem and I wanted to share this finding with you. If you are experiencing the same slow image generation with SDXL 1.0 like I was, I hope this video will help you speed things up. Without further ado, let's get into it. Locate your webuiuser.bat file and open it up with Notepad++. Make sure you add medvram, no half vae, and xformers to your command line arguments. As you can see, I previously had no half vae and xformers in here already, but the secret sauce turned out to be medvram. Don't forget to save the file after adding the correct arguments, then restart the web UI by double-clicking the web UI user.bat file. MedVRAM enables stable diffusion model optimization while sacrificing some performance if you have lower VRAM. For reference, I have a 8GB 3060Ti and never had to worry about turning on this option when using version 1.5 models, because I thought this option was to prevent out-of-memory errors. But adding this option while using SDXL 1.0 made all the difference. After I added this option, it decreased my single image generation time from 7 minutes to about 30 to 40 seconds. That is an increase of 10 to 14 times in speed. Let me show you an example here with MedV RAM turned on. I'm generating a 1024 by 1024 image here with the SDXL base model, I have to turn off my screen recording and skip to the end because the screen recording slows down the image generation. As you can see here, it took me only 41 seconds to generate this image with MedVRAM turned on. That is 11 times faster than the 7.5 minutes previously. Other than MedVRAM, there is another optimization command line argument that is low VRAM which enables stable diffusion model optimization while sacrificing a lot of speed for very low VRAM usage. So I thought, well, let me try it out too. But this one did not work miracles for me. The single image generation time was reduced, but to just three and a half minutes, which is about two times faster. So I think having a 8 GB or even 6 GB GPU, you can probably start by trying out med VRAM but if you have even lower VRAM, say 4 GB, you should probably give low VRAM a try to see if it will help you either speed things up or avoid having an out-of-memory error. Okay, so making my image generate faster is good, but will this reduce my image render quality? I'm so glad you asked this question, my friends. The answer is, no, it does not. Uh, let me show you. I generated the same armored knight image first without the med VRAM argument then generated it again with the med VRAM argument added. And here's the side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is the no med VRAM image, and on the right is the with med VRAM image. And I cannot see any difference between the two. I did the same test with a few other images, and the results were the same. Med VRAM had no adverse effect on the image quality. So I would say go ahead and use this without any worries. All right, before we end the video, I wanted to throw in a bonus content. I just found out a couple days ago that there is already an extension for running SDXL Refiner model within the same image generation process. So we would no longer need to switch to image to image in order to use the Refiner model. So let me show you quickly how to install and use the extension. Before we start, do me a favor and click the like and subscribe buttons to help support this channel. Your likes and subscriptions help me grow this channel and allow me to continue making quality content. Thank you. Okay, here's how you install the Refiner extension. Click on the Extensions tab, then the Available tab, and click Load From. This will show you all the available extensions that you can install. Search for Refiner, then click the Install button. Wait for the process to finish. When this is done, go back to the Installed tab, click Check for Updates, then Apply and Restart UI. 
When the restart is finished, you will see the Refiner extension near the bottom of the web UI. To use it, click the Enable Refiner box and select the SDXL Refiner model from the drop-down list. The GitHub page said to set the refiner steps to be at most half the size of the normal sampling steps. So in this case, our sampling steps are 40, uh, so we should set the refiner steps to be less than or equal to 20. When everything is ready, click Generate. Note, the refiner does not add additional steps to the process. The total image generation time remain about the same. It's just a bit slower here because I was recording my screen. Okay, it's done. Let's compare the base image versus the refiner image. It looks like some additional details were added to the knight's helmet, face, shield, and armor. I'm not sure what happened to the hand and the sword here, but that's probably fixable later with some upscaling and inpainting. We can also see additional details in the background. Looks like the model filled in some more people in the army. Overall, not too bad, but does require some additional work. A general observation for the refiner model is that you do not want too many steps. Here I reduced the refiner steps to 10 and generate it again. Jumping ahead to the finished image, we can see that it added details while having less artifacts and provided a cleaner looking image. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to over refine your base image. Okay, so today we increased our image generation speed with the medvram command and added the refiner extension. Hopefully, both things made your image generation a lot faster and less cumbersome. I'll leave you with some of the images that I have generated recently with SDXL. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.